was good, y'all. Rich Sosa back in the building with another banger. Now, first things first, I gotta go ahead and say thank God for another day and another opportunity. Now, as y'all can see, from the looks of the title and the screen, man, today, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to create the top five best and most game-breaking builds for Season 5 in NBA 2K23, and this is gonna be applicable to both current as well as next-gen. Now, for this first build, man, look, before we get anything started, if it's your first time coming through, be sure to hit that sub button if you're new. Turn on post notifications to be a part of the Rich family. Be sure to smash that like button, but more so than anything, comment down TG for thank God, as well as where you're tuning in from watching today, and I most definitely will be getting back to y'all with the response. So this first build that I'm coming at y'all with, going to be a 7-2 inside out score, and I'm telling y'all, everything that goes into this first build is definitely going to be important. Now we're going to go ahead and make it under the center position. When it comes down to the actual body settings, I'm going to go with the height of 7-2, 220 for the weight with a 7-2 wingspan. And now once we go ahead and get into the breakdown of the actual attributes, I promise you, you're going to want to be sure that you follow along with every single one of these builds today. Because every single attribute in every area is going to be very crucial to maintaining this build's name. But also when it comes down to the actual animations, everything that goes into it. Now the reason why I went ahead and put this build at number 1 is because I think it's going to be able to be one of those builds where anybody can pick it up and automatically find success with it. Now you're definitely welcome to make your own changes and adjustments as we go into the breakdown of each build. But as you can see with this first one, the physicals are pretty balanced all around. Now when it comes down to the finishing, we're going to be able to get big man standing contact dunks, contact dunks in general, but also when it comes down to that post control, this is what's going to open up the floor so much more, especially on the offensive end. Now when it comes down to the shooting for this build, we're definitely going to be able to be a threat inside the arc but also outside to the three-point range now we're also going to be able to take this build into any game mode because of the free throw now if you do happen to be following along remember as we get into the breakdown towards the end of each build that's when i would go ahead and recommend you make your own adjustments but be sure to just follow along and you're going to get everything how i'm bringing it to y'all now with the playmaking i'm happy because we are going to be able to dribble especially when you take into account buying your own boost and a lot of the other things that you can take into account when it comes down to actually raising your attributes now when it comes down to the defensive end this is where we're going to be able to shine the most, I think, because look, we're 7-2, and that automatically is going to make us a threat on protecting the rim. Now, not only when it comes down to the defensive end, but it's going to make you so much more better when it comes down to the post scoring. Now, with the shooting, I'm happy that I was able to create this build to at least get sharpshooting takeover. Now, we get the post scoring, the rim protecting, as well as the playmaking, which will allow us to speed boost when activated. Now, however you decide to go about it, make sure you base every single thing off of your own preference and play style. I'm going to go with first, playmaking takeover. Now, the second one to have the most potential for the shooting, I would go ahead and say sharpshooting takeover is going to be the best one for my own interest. Now, as y'all can see, if you followed every step, we should be getting these three comparisons. And as y'all can see, like I said, we have created the 7-2 inside out score build. Now, this is really only the start to all four of the builds that I have remaining, but I'm telling y'all, coming up at number two, I had to go ahead and put another very special build on this list. One of my favorite center builds, and this is actually going to be called the two-way point center. Now, honestly, this is definitely one of my favorite builds in all of 2K from present as well as the past. Now, with this build, we have a lot of potential on all four areas of the floor. But look, man, if you are still watching, I just want to say thank you for your support. We're only two builds getting into this video. We have three more after this one, so you are definitely going to want to be sure to stick around. And if you have not done so already, I would appreciate it if y'all went ahead and smashed that like button. But more so than anything, be sure to go ahead and show yourself in the comment section. Comment down TG for thank God. You know, I'm interested in knowing where y'all are coming.
coming in from as well and i most definitely will be sure to hit most of y'all back with the response if you go ahead and do so but as you can see with this second build we're able to do a lot especially with how we're able to actually dribble on the floor now when it comes down to this build we're going to be one of the best defensive builds that i've brought to y'all in a while but the best thing about it in my opinion is definitely going to be the name now when it comes down to it make sure you follow every single step and i promise you not only are you going to get one of the most rare center build names but this is going to be one of the best centers that you can possibly make on next gen so let's go ahead and get started i'm going to go with the height of 6 8 215 for the weight with a 7 6 wingspan now these numbers are adjustable to your own liking and preference now when it comes down to the physicals i'm going to go with the 78 speed max out acceleration 79 strength 75 vertical with an 87 stamina now do take into consideration the plus four that we will be getting from gym rat now this is what we're going to look like when it comes down to this area so go ahead and go about it to your own liking from here now i would definitely have to say the reason why i went about it how it did was to make sure that i'm able to balance out the rest of the four remaining areas so i'm going to go ahead and make sure that with the playmaking I'm going to go with the pass accuracy of an 80, max out that ball handle with the 77 speed with the ball, and then we're going to be able to get a total of 22 badges. Now this isn't bad, especially for a center build. Now with the fact that we are 6 8, I think we're going to be more versatile than anybody would think. Then when it comes down moving on to the defensive end, this is honestly one of the strongest areas of this build and you definitely shouldn't be surprised look at that interior defense and especially when it comes down to that steal i feel like we're going to be able to play some pretty solid on ball defense now this is really just the start of what this build can do we still have the shooting and the finishing to get into but so far how we're looking with the playmaking side i'm pretty happy with the badges and tiers that we're able to unlock but even more so when it comes down to the defensive end now when it comes down to the shooting i'm gonna go anywhere from i would have to say 75 to 78 for the mid-range and three-pointer as long as you keep at least a 75 for all three of these areas i promise you you're still gonna be able to be a threat from outside as well as from the free throw line now not only are we going to be able to shoot from outside this build is actually also going to be able to get contact dunks now when it gets into the breakdown of the finishing i'm telling y'all this is what's really going to complete this build in my opinion now if you wanted to you can make the adjustments to get more out of the shooting or even the playmaking possibly even when it comes down to the defensive end but if you want to be sure to maintain contact dunks go ahead and continue to follow along we're also going to be able to finish pretty solid on the inside now as you can see look if you do decide to throw four extra badges from my career into this area we're going to be able to get posterizer unlocked as well as limitless takeoff now there's going to be a few different ways that you can go about creating this build but i truly believe the way that i'm bringing it to y'all right now is going to be the best way that you can go about it now when it comes down to your takeovers remember we're also going to be able to get a plus 10 towards whichever two takeovers that we do decide to run with so as you can see we get the shot creating sharp shooting playmaking and of course it makes it all the better with a defensive takeover so for the first one if you're looking to break ankles i can see going with ankle breaking shots takeover now of course i would definitely have to say the most potential for the playmaking would be to go ahead and pick any of the three takeovers but as far as for the shooting i'm gonna go with limitless range now the second one that i would take into consideration for defensive purposes is gonna be extreme clamps now let's go ahead and check out the build to make sure that we made it correctly together and if you followed every single step along i'm telling y'all these should be the three comparisons that we get and as y'all can see we have created the two-way point center build and i'm telling y'all this is easily the most rare center build name that you can possibly make now moving on to number three this is going to be the giannis anti the kumpo build now for this one i'm telling y'all i went ahead and recreated this build to be exactly made like giannis how he plays on all four ends of the floor now from the finishing all the way down to the physicals i'm telling y'all this is going to be the best build in which you can create of the greek freak now we're going to be able to get this build to 611 and when it comes down to the wingspan i'm the way i'm telling y'all everything is going to match up perfect and evenly now look if you are still watching man 
Let me know in the comments which of these builds so far are you going to recreate or make and I'm telling y'all, I have more in store, 3 more builds remaining and 2 more after this so I promise y'all, once we get to the end, you're going to see just how overpowered the builds that I brought to y'all today are going to be, but as far as for the one right here I'm telling y'all, we're going to get elite contact dunks as well as pro dribble moves and that is really only the start of what this build can actually do. So let's go ahead and get started by making sure that we put it under the power forward position and then when it comes down to the actual body settings, in my opinion this is going to be the most important factor of this build. Now you can go ahead and choose whether you want to go with right or left handed. To be like Giannis, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I'm right handed. Now with the height, I'm going to go with 6'11". As for the weight, 245 is going to be perfect for my liking. And then when it comes down to the wingspan, I think 7'9 is going to be perfect. Now when it comes down to the actual body shape, you already know to pick builds, this one's going to take up the most space, but as you can see, I already have this one created when it comes down to the archetype. Now every single area on the floor, I'm telling y'all, it really reminds me of Giannis. Now when it comes down to the actual physicals, this is definitely got to be one of my favorite things about this build. Now we have the speed, the acceleration is there, definitely the strength and the vertical, but take into account, once we do go ahead and add in the gem rat batch, I'm telling y'all, that's really going to make a huge difference on this build. Now another thing that I do want to throw out to y'all. If you look to run with a teammate that does have on floor general on Hall of Fame, that's going to be a plus 4. Now look, if you buy your own boost, that's going to be a plus 5. And if you do decide to run with a teammate on top of running with your takeovers activated, I'm telling y'all, that's going to be a plus 10 from your takeovers towards two separate areas, a plus 4 from your teammate, and a plus 5 from buying your own boost. And if you do decide to think about this, Look, the gradually better that you play, your stats are also going to go up as well. So you have the potential to get at least two separate areas for all of these builds to a 20 plus. But as you can see when it comes down to the playmaking and the defense on this build, you really have the full package. We're able to get some of the pro dribble moves, but I think with this build, we're honestly able to defend any position 1 through 5. Now, when it comes down to the shooting, we're still going to be able to be a threat from outside, especially when it comes down to buying boost. I would have to say that the three-pointer is definitely going to be able to make it into the 80s range, possibly even the 90s. But look, when it comes down to the badges, you're still going to be able to be able to hit step backs, pull up from three, dribble, speed boost, everything that you would need out of any build. But as far as when it comes down to the finishing, I truly believe that this is what's going to complete the build. We get the elite contact dunks. We're able to post up when it comes down to that standing dunk. And I even say that the driving layup is going to make a big difference as well. Now, one thing that I do want to throw out there, I think the takeovers are really going to be crucial about this build because it's going to be allowing this build to be one of the most versatile builds in 2K. Now, when it comes down to the actual physicals, if you want to make adjustments, go ahead and do so. And I could definitely see that as to if you wanted to get more badges in certain areas. Now, let's go ahead and check out the takeover. So look, we get the slashing. We're also going to be able to get the sharpshooting. And then you can already see we get the rim protecting and glass cleaning. And that's actually why I mentioned, depending on which takeovers you pick, it really makes a huge difference on how this build is actually going to be able to play. Now one thing that I'm going to recommend to everybody is that if you don't know which takeovers to start with, make sure that you go back and forth with checking which areas you actually want to be able to get boost for. Now for my personal preference to get the most out of this build, I would really consider going with one of the shooting takeovers. Then for the second one, going with the defensive is going to make it super overpowered, especially if you're looking to take this build into the 1v1 court. Now I'm just giving y'all some tips and ideas, but remember, if you were to even take this build into the wreck, I think it's going to be nice to pick double offensive takeovers. Now to be balanced, I'm going to go with Limitless Range as well as Paint Intimidation. And I think overall, these are going to be the best two takeovers in which we can get from now let's go ahead and check out the comparisons and if you followed every single step we should be getting these three and now as y'all can see 
At number three, we have created the Giannis interior finisher build in NBA 2K on next gen. Now, this is really only the start. I'm telling y'all, we have two builds that I'm bringing at y'all. Now, coming at number four, the two-way three-point shot creator. Now, with this one, I'm telling y'all, the 6'1 point guard, and we're going to be able to get contact dunks, shoot from deep, get every single elite dribble package unlocked and then when it comes down to the defensive end we have the potential of a 100 plus when it comes down to the perimeter defense as well as our steel and possibly even a 99 acceleration depending on how you go about the making of this build now i think that this is going to be the perfect guard build to run the fives but look if you're a skilled player and you know your jump shot as well as how to dribble and play some solid defense i think this is going to be the perfect build for you now look with this build i'm going to go ahead and say right now Probably my favorite 6-1 point guard that you can possibly make. It has everything that you need. Now we're going to be able to finish on the inside. Like I said earlier, we get all of the dribble packages as well as the pro contact dunks. But that's really just the start. Because when it comes down to the attributes, there's a good amount of areas in which we're going to be able to reach a 100 plus. So like I said, we're going to go with the height of 6'1". As for the weight, I'm going to go with 165. And then for the wingspan, if you wanted to, you can adjust this to your own liking. But I'm going to be real, I set every single area of this build specifically in order to be able to reach certain requirements when it comes down to the badges. So I'm going to go with 6'7". Now, when it comes down to the physicals, I'm going to go with the 76 speed, 90 acceleration, but you can raise this depending on your preference, 76 vertical with an 89 stamina, and do take into account the plus 4 from Gym Rat. Now, if you do your Gatorade facility workouts, go ahead and add that in as well. But as far as when it comes down to the physicals, very specific for this build. Now with the perimeter defense, I'm going to go with an 88, 95 steel, and right there we get a total of 24 badges, and you need to be sure to copy every single area to reach this number. Now look, we get gold glove, interceptor, also going to be able to get box out beast with chase down artists, and I think tier 3 is looking super solid. Now to get started with the offensive end, I'm telling y'all, this is probably one of the most skillful but also overpowered builds that you can possibly make. Now a 92 ball handle, 79 speed with ball, you can raise this up to an 82 or if you wanted to, lower it based off your own liking. Now I'm going to go with the pass accuracy of a 75 and right there, 22 badges, I like ankle breaker and hall of fame, but we pretty much have every single badge needed in order to be an effective dribbler, hyperdrive, quick first step and hall of fame as well. Now when it comes down to the shooting, I did go with the 78 mid range, 92 three pointer, 83 free throw, and right there we get agent 3 as well as limitless range both on gold. Now space creator is pretty important and if you wanted to go the three extra ticks on the mid range for midi magician that's another route that you can definitely go with. Now I did say we're going to be able to get contact dunks. Go with an 86 driving dunk, 80 driving layup and right here we're going to be all set to go to get just that. Now when it comes down to this build I'm telling y'all it has everything and more that you need from an offensive perspective but I think the defense is really a huge bonus and we do get silver posterizer as well as gold limitless takeoff. Now when it comes down to the actual takeovers, this plays a huge effect on this build and just how effective we're actually going to be able to be. Now when it comes down to the first one, we get the shot creating, sharp shooting, playmaking as well as the lockdown. Now for my best interest, if you want the most bang for your buck out of this build, the first takeover that I would pick is going to be ankle breaking shots takeover. Now especially with the animations that you get from this one, the second one that I would pair it up with is going to be extreme clamps. From here, we should be all set for build number 4 getting these 3 comparisons. And as y'all can see, we have created none other than the 2 way 3 point shot creator build. Now let me know in the comments. What do y'all think about this point guard? I'm telling y'all, I think it's definitely one of the most overpowered builds that you can possibly make. Especially for being 6'1", it has a lot of potential. Now for this next build, I'm gonna go ahead and say that I saved one of the best for last. The 3 level scoring glass cleaner. 
Now, not only is this one of the best center and power forward builds that you can make, but I think out of all five builds on this list, this is going to be one of the most versatile. Now, we're going to be able to make this build anywhere from, I would say, like 6'9 to 6'11. But as far as when it comes down to the defense, this is going to be one of the best small ball and big man builds that you can possibly make. Now, if you did make it to build number five and you have not done so already, hit that sub button if you're new. Turn on post notifications to be a part of the rich family. Smash that like button, but more so than anything, comment down TG for thank God and where you're tuning in from so I can hit y'all back with a response. Now getting into this last build, we're going to go ahead and put it at the height of 6'9", 210 for the weight with a 7'7 seven, seven wingspan. Now for the physicals, 70 speed, 77 acceleration. Now, if you want to change any of these numbers, feel free to do so, but I'm telling y'all, it's really going to come together when you take a look at this build as a whole. Now, with the finishing, the thing that stands out to me, of course, is going to be that 93 dropping dunk. We're also going to be able to get posterizer unlocked on gold if you throw your four extra badges from my career into this area. Now, when it comes down to the shooting... 81 for both the mid-range and the three-pointer. The free throw, I think we're going to be just fine and be able to take this build into any game mode. Now, just starting out with the offensive end, I'm telling y'all, this is honestly really balanced, especially when you look at the numbers themselves. But when it comes down to the playmaking, I'm going to go with the 75 for the pass accuracy and ball handle. 71 for the speed with ball. And that right there gives us a total of 16 badges. Now, the more seasons that pass by, we will be able to unlock extra badges, and I think it's going to be very useful for this build. Now, as you can see with the defense, super overpowered, 28 badges, and you pretty much have the potential to get every single area on this build to a 99+. plus. Now, my favorite thing about it definitely has to be the defensive end. But when it comes down to the takeovers, I think that's going to play a huge factor with this build and how we're actually going to be able to move on the floor. So as you can see, we do get the slashing takeover, sharpshooting, rim protecting, and I'm telling y'all, I think that makes this one of the best builds, but then finally we get the glass cleaning. Now the takeovers, I'm going to go with sharpshooting and rim protecting, and as y'all can see at number 5, the top 5 best builds that you can possibly make for Season 5 in NBA 2K23, and we have created the 3 level scoring glass cleaner. Now again... Thank y'all for the support, and I just want to say one last time, God bless y'all. But with all that being said, man, I got one last thing to say. With all that being said, Rich out.